Hello, another day, another video. This time I want to show a few tweaks on the newly jailbroken iPad Pro. This is the version 12.9 inch and it's uh, 2018 version, so it's not the newest one. But anyway, uh, same thing. So I want to show you a few, few tweaks. Let's go. Just a small note. All these tweaks work the same way, even better on uh, any iPhone jailbroken by the Uncover 5.0 jailbreak on the iOS 11.0 till 11 13, uh, sorry, till 13.5. Uh, so these tweaks are compatible with both. I want to give credit to one of my subscribers, Xcon. Big shout out to Xcon who suggested this tweak for me. That's why I'm showing it today. Uh, thank you, XCon. So this is the tweak that locks your device with tap. I usually used tap tap lock or double tap lock, depending um, which one works faster and, and more reliable. But this one is pretty awesome as well. So this enables you more customization, which means that you can one tap your home screen and you can lock your device. You can double tap, you can tap with one finger, two fingers. So you have several combinations over here. You can enable vibration, auto, auto low power mode when you lock it, which is uh, cool for, for saving a battery if you need it. And you can change the sounds of, of your uh, locking uh, when you lock the device. So let's, let's check it. Very cool, very neat, right? Has a nice, nice ring to it. Okay, so this is, this is the uh, Fast LS and uh, I highly recommend it. It's a free tweak. Amazing. Again, th thanks, Axcon. The next one is useful for us who use the AirPods. And I'm sure many of you use as well. Uh, these are old ones, so they're like more than two years old. And uh, I, don't, I don't know when they will run out of the battery. So this tweak came out today and it's called AirPods case low battery, which gives you a notification when your battery is below a certain threshold, which you, which you uh, customize here. You can have it 50%, you have 20, 10, it's up, completely up to you. So this is very useful tweak. My, my, my battery is now more than 20%, so I'm, I cannot show you at this second, but I highly recommend this tweak, works perfectly. Okay, the next one is pretty amazing. I love it, it's $2. And uh, I know some of you told me don't po post paid uh, tweaks, but this one is really, really amazing. And it's called copy log. So copy log, especially useful for big iPads like this one. So copy log enables for you to sna save your copied snippets in your memory, in the memory of your device. Uh, you can have it, you can customize it however you want. You can enable it by dic uh, pressing the dictate button, selection menu, etc. Uh, invoking through keyboard swipe up, I prefer dictate button. So how does it work? You open any text or anything that you want to copy and I do this, I say copy log. That's it, it, it invokes my copy, uh, what I copied previously, so I can use it in this text. So let's say, for example, I want to insert text here, right? I push the, uh, I press the dictate button and it gives me the option, I, I press it, immediately paste it inside very useful and it keeps stores it in your memory memory for for a long time you can even have your uh web pages uh, links you can save it as favorites it it's all you know up to you when you press and hold you can remove it you know you can uh add it to your favorite uh, do whatever you prefer also, when you uh, select a text, uh, any text that you want to select, I don't know, let's select uh, all, and I'm gonna do copy. It immediately gives you notification. So it looks and feels and works as if it, it is the part of the iOS. I really wish Apple does this, especially when we know that Apple has this history of taking jailbreak tweaks and embedding them into their next versions of operating systems. So copy log, highly recommended tweak. Uh, big credit to Safari Plus tweak. This is the next tweak I'm gonna show you. This tweak enables and pushes Safari to the next level. So it brings you Safari on steroids. And again, I wish Apple does this. Maybe they will one day, but then again, jailbreaking won't be that interesting. So you can set up your privacy. 
you can have increased privacy, you, you can download, you can upload any file you want, uh, you can download videos, you can preview progress, whatever you want to do, you can auto switch, okay, I can do this, this is very, this is very cool. Uh, you can have instant download, you can auto save to media library, all sorts of customizations. I'm just going to uh, show you briefly how it works on one of the videos. Important thing to note, so you need to have the video playing uh, in full screen if you want to download something, okay? So let's have this video in, in full screen mode, right? So when I open, oh, sorry. When I open it in full screen, didn't start yet. When I open it in full screen, you can see this de dedicated download button. This comes from Safari Plus and you can download this video. You know, you can just set to download Okay, I already downloaded just to test it. I can replace the file and it shows you a little progress bar there. It just went away. So this is an amazing tweak called Safari Plus and you can access this in your files and you can enjoy them later on. An important note is that it won't work on the YouTube app. So for this to, uh, for, uh, for you to download the YouTube videos on your YouTube app or play them in the background as far and you know I already talked about this in the previous video previous videos I use Circube this is another amazing tweak which uh, which I cannot live without so when you open any video on YouTube oh sorry just crashed okay YouTube crashed I'm gonna show this to the developer anyway let's resume watching the video so once you open a video and when you have it installed, when you have your uh, Circube installed, you can download this video on your device and watch it offline or you can just listen to music in the background. So these are the two main features of Circube. Highly recommend it. it works perfectly on the YouTube if you, you know, forget what uh, just happened. It crashed a little bit. But that's normal for some tweaks and for the jailbroken devices. The next one I want to talk about, very simple tweak, adds functionality to your App Store. Works uh, on iPhones as well, of course. So this tweak adds this functionality. Let me show you. Okay. You can downgrade your apps if you want to download earlier version. You can, okay, you see, this is what happens when <laughs> Safari Plus downloads your file. Took it, it took a while. Uh, you can manually install if you're an advanced user, if you consider it advanced. Or you can block updates if you don't want some app to, to bother you with updates. You're satisfied with the version, you don't want to update it for some reason. I don't know, there are many reasons. So this is this tweak is App Store Plus Plus and highly recommended tweak. The following tweak is called Power Selector. And in Cydia, when you attempt to download it, it says that it supports uh, iOS 11 and iOS 12. Luckily for us, it also supports and it works very well on uh, iOS 13.5 and especially on my, on my iPad. So what does it do? When you go, so you have, you can put certain uh, commands in your control center, power off, reboot, whatever, lock, you can put your lock device if you want, global IP address, RAM info, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So how do you do it? You go to your con control center settings. Let me find it here. Customize control. And then you find power selector here. So you install, you put it up. And then what happens? I'm going to scroll here and I get this power selector button. I click on it so you can power off, reboot, restart, put it in the safe mode, respring, or lock your device. So these are all different features which Power Selector enables on your on your uh, iOS device. So it's a free tweak and I highly recommend it. I also want to show you another tweak, very cool tweak, settings widgets, and uh, you can have two widgets on the top of your settings. As you can see here, you can have the battery or you can have the storage and you can change these things. You can have storage to the left or Wi-Fi information. Really kind of looks cool, you know. Uh, you can increase it. You can increase the height, decrease the height. When you click on it, it automatically brings you to that option. When you click on the battery, it automatically brings you to your battery health. So that's it. That's settings widgets. 
Another tweak I want to mention to you guys is for the lock screen. And I was testing several tweaks to see which one I prefer and how it looks like on the, on the lock screen. So I decided to go with Jellyfish here. And because uh, you have many, many uh, uh, things you can, you can set up. And I like the way it looks like. So this is how it looks like on your lock screen. You have a, a you know big letters, which is which is kind of cool. Uh, you can even have it more. Let's let's go to the left. I don't know or font size. I don't know what that is. Let's increase the size and let's see how it looks like. See, it's on the left. It has an interesting uh, look to it. I really like it. You don't have to. Let's do this. Let's do the. Let's go crazy with with. The biggest one and i uh, suppose that it cannot use the full size of your ipad screen but at least at least you know it gives you uh, an interesting look to it that's all i wanted to say i don't want to complicate it so this is how okay this one i prefer the most so it's very big it's on your uh, looks nice on your uh, ipad okay it goes a little bit to the right when you put it like this but still it for me it looks kind of cool and kind of you know uh, unusual so this is the jellyfish tweak uh, which I highly recommend so anyway that's uh, all for me today guys uh, it's been like 10 tweaks which I'm using currently on my iPad Pro thanks a lot guys and I hope you enjoyed it